hey guys welcome back again to yet another video so on today's video i'm going to talk about um five myths yeah myths that i've been hearing around about single moms and i'm a single mom yeah so i get the idea yeah so today i wanted to sit down and talk and share with you some of them I know there are single moms and single fathers out there, they might relate to what I'm saying. So I decided to create this type of video to address and also to dispel some of the myths. That's why the, that's the reason I'm creating this video. So disclaimer, this is what I've noticed and it has happened to me. So you know, I've been a single mother to this lovely little boy Aiden <laughs> for six good years <laughs> it has been um, it has been a challenge but also it has helped me grow he brought the best in me yeah. so whew, really I've been astonished by the misconceptions of many people have about this yeah, being a single mom single dad but I'll mostly talk about single mothers because I am one of them and so let's dive in yeah. and if you're new here my name is Mona yeah so kindly consider subscribing and for those who are new Karibu Sana for the returning subscribers <laughs> Thank you so much for always being here for me from day one thing now that I'm being monet being monetized. Yeah, so let's just go straight to the story or the meets. The first one that I've had is that we let me even laugh that we detest our baby daddies or our ex-husbands or um, and that we just detest men in general that is pure lies <laughs> that is data b s for my side i don't uh, i don't detest him yeah, we just separated and everyone moved on with there it is for a life if Eden wants to talk to his dad, he talks to him. Yeah. And I don't hate men in general. I'm also dating. I just decided to be for my be alone and not date for a while. Yeah. So that I can take care of my baby. And that's not a problem. That's not a I I'm okay. I I think it's okay yeah that's what we chose that's what i chose i decided to leave the house the my ex-husband because i didn't feel like i was happy in that relationship and even me, him maybe didn't feel happy so and we are okay we are talking we are in talking terms so I don't see any problem in that so don't stop making such assumptions we don't hate men in general and we don't detest them yeah so like this if a random stranger upon hearing that you're a single parent will launch into a tirade against the useless man or women of today and immediately and immediately start consoling you about how much better off you are without that person in your life this not this not having a clue <laughs> what the nature of the relationship between you and the baby daddy is so guys please stop if you are one of the person doing this just stop it yeah people people move on and life continues mm, the assumption here that i'm talking about is that single moms having been abandoned by <laughs> by men 
and due to the searing hatred that we have of them <laughs> would gladly have all men flogged to death that's pure lies <laughs> let me just laugh and, and i thought i would share with you because i've experienced some of them i know other single moms have experienced also <laughs> and me being back in my village you can see the stairs but nowadays I'm not I'm unbothered. I think, guess it's growing up and being mature and minding your business because it's my life at the end of the day. So I don't care. Because as, as I told you earlier, the truth is that some of many single mothers have wonderful co-parenting relationship with our kids, baby daddies. Yeah. As I told you earlier, I just if Aiden wants to talk to his dad, why not? If it's da if his dad wants to talk, calls and wants to talk to Aiden, why should I be the one who, who blocks them? Because at the end of the day, is his dad, and if, when he grows up, I know he'll want to go and to he'll want to go and meet his dad even now he wants to go and meet his dad I, I can't block that yeah so please stop with those those people who like who love assuming things and start consoling you you don't need that you're okay yeah, yeah the ones who decided to be that that mm. Like for so so for many it was a the decision the decision to part ways was mutual. Yeah, we continue to love and respect our baby daddies. We respect each other. I'll talk mostly about me and the assumption here because I relate to this. Yeah, mutual understanding. Even though we are no longer romantically involved with them, but we're okay the way we are. And yes, I can talk here. Yes, there are some deadbeat, I'll call them douchebag, deadbeat dads that may need a good flogging. <laughs> but we do not judge the entire lot of men for the sins of the few. Another assumption <laughs> at that we are desperate, we are financially desperate. Hmm. Wow, this world. Some have assumption that we are never qualified, educated, or financially stable enough to quit an unsuitable job for position. That those are pure lies. I'd rather be broke than stay in an unsuitable job position. Maybe the men are taking me, I'm passing advances, or they want to do something that you don't, you're not comfortable doing. You're not financially desperate, guys. And that you're tougher than males. That is very true. Taking care of my son Aiden has made me tough. I'm very tough. That one I accept it. I'm tough and I'm more stronger than before. Kuna juanyingi. And yes, as a single mom, yes, we do hold down the fort by ourselves. <sighs> and yes, the full responsibility of child care and financial being um, of our family rest quietly on our shoulders but we are not complaining it's okay it's a good challenge and i believe god is with us because he's the one who keeps us going 
we are the father, the mother, the breadwinner, we're supposed to be there with him. And we love that job. For me, I'm happy with that job. It's a 24 hour job and I'm really excited about it. I'm okay with it. It has made, it has made me even stronger. Well, he joined Kali. And yes, life gets tough sometimes. But that doesn't mean that we are stereotypical. We are stereotypical angry black women. <laughs> you see on Tyler Perry's movies. <laughs> As you're not. <laughs> and don't act surprised. We are really <laughs> when it turns out to be soft. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it has we, have, we are soft. I'm soft. Some cry, but I don't cry nowadays. I, I, I guess I cried a lot when I was, um, I was when I was in marriage. But now I'm a, I don't cry. I don't even think the last time I've cried is um, a long time ago. <sighs> but some cry when they need to it's natural we get our feelings hurt we giggle uncontrollably with friends <laughs> my friend knows that we giggle a lot we talk a lot we talk shit a lot we talk <laughs> Life has really made us a bit, um, a bit tougher, but not as tougher to some of us seem to think. Yeah. Hey, this is so loud. I love to move. Guys, I have to move because the solar is a bit too much for me. And I'm, like when you meet a complete stranger or introduced to people, you know, people want to know about you. Some will ask. Uh, really surprised. Even a complete stranger. They will form. They form detailed conclusions. About one's life. Within seconds. I'm saying seconds. Learning that one. That you are either single mother or a single dad. Imagine. Some of let me tell you, some of these assumptions may make some of us. Some will be sad, others will be unbothered. Like for me, I'll say it. That I'll say the truth. I, I, I sometimes get sad, cause. But not that much nowadays. I'll, I became unbothered because you can't make someone to connect. People, people like judging. People like making assumptions. They don't know what happened or why you had, that situation happened to you. Yeah. So some of them, now in Guinea, they have been cause and other assumptions may land some of them <laughs> or some of us in prison <laughs> for aggregated assault one day because these assumptions are becoming too much because being a single mother doesn't mean that you are alone in this because some of us like for me for instance I'm a, I'm a divorcee and I couldn't stay in that relationship because it was toxic for me. Yeah. So we, we opt to live and be happy. And then, so guys, where were we? It made me laugh. And, and at the same time, so sad about the society. Called, the society is that we're looking for step dance. <laughs> really? Stop assuming that all single mothers are frantically looking for a man to play a role of dad to our babies. 
are just like everyone else. And just like everyone else, we date with the intention of finding a date, with the intention of finding a, of finding a connection with a suitable partner. Yeah. It, we also date with the intention of having a connection. Uh, we don't show up with our babies or our kids on the first date. <laughs> we won't ask you to, and we won't ask you to supervise school or work <laughs> after two weeks of dating. Hey, that is crazy. <laughs> Statements won't be requested at all. At our sixth month anniversary, even one year, it goes that far to determine if you can afford fees for an international school or any school for that matter. Yeah. And we are not in a disparate hurry to escape motherhood. We are not in a hurry to really escape motherhood by throwing over. We we'll would make assumption that we are looking for stepdads. We are not even in a in a hurry, desperate hurry to escape single motherhood by throwing every Tom Dixon hand Mogaka. <laughs> that has to prove that his boyfriend material into the father role. But in any case, Ogaka has to prove that he is boyfriend material first before we even get to we get that far of, introdu of introducing our kids to them. Like for me, I've not even introduced any man to my baby. Until they prove when I'm seeing it that we are embarrassed, we are embarrassed about our lives. We are so proud of ourselves because we decided to to raise our kids in a happy Ah thing opening. Yes, I grew up in a religious household, so I know that for sale. For many single motherhood synonyms with shame. I'm not ashamed, but I'm proud. I'm glad I got out of that relationship. And we are both fine now. Yeah, we are in good speaking terms and we have a good relationship. Even uh, it's better than before when you are married. This may be, and this may be why it comes as a surprise that to some that they are single mothers that chose life, chose this life, and some that didn't have a choice. Yeah, there are some who had a choice of living, and there are some who didn't have a choice. But they carry the burden of shame having found themselves here. But I don't think it's shame nowadays because many people, many single mothers, mostly here in Kenya, there are many single mothers, they do their work alone. They, and there are a lot of dead big ducks. Yeah. It's sad, but true. It's not shame because there have been single mothers who have adopted, have decided to adopt a baby. Yeah. And there are mothers who have willingly who have willingly left toxic relationships with their children. Children's biological father. Um, women who have been abandoned by their 
but I've moved on triumphantly despite the cards dealt to them <laughs> and we don't shovel up in embarrassment when meddling folk those that that have <laughs> they think they have made it in life they stick out their bottoms their bottom lips and use them to point towards our kids then as to what happened <laughs> There's no need to whisper that she, has a, she doesn't have a husband Shh. to your fellow Chama members or oh, when we meet you at church. We are fine. We are not ashamed. I'm not ashamed. These are our lives and we own them. Yes, guys. Those people who like making assumptions of single mothers, this is for you. And now you know we are not ashamed. We don't we are not looking for our baby stepfathers we are not financially we are not financially what desperate <sighs> and yes we are really tougher than nails Shh. hope you enjoyed this video this car is yeah decided to so guys that's it for today's video please write your comment or any assumption that any of you single mothers or oh, you faced have had this should stop because there are single mothers who have a widow, widowers and it's not by choice so have a lovely day. Bye.